Breakups. Yes, they are super difficult and everyone is affected by them differently. What can you do to get over that one person who really broke your heart? You planned all of your life together and that person suddenly becomes a stranger. If you're like me, the first thing that you would do is pray. I mean, prayer is so powerful, but yet sometimes it's underestimated. You get assurance when you talk to God because you know that anything that you discuss with Him stays with Him. Talking to someone about how you're feeling can help you a lot. And when you keep everything inside, it will hurt you even more. Let me put it like this. If you're not comfortable talking with somebody that you know, talk with a stranger. And the reason why I said talk with a stranger is that that person don't know anything about you. You will not see that person again. And so therefore you will not be judged. Allow yourself to grieve. It is very important because everyone gets over a breakup in their own time. So don't let anyone tell you that you should be over it already. Don't heal because somebody is pushing you to heal. Take the time that you need to heal in your own terms and on your own time. It is a process. So don't beat up on yourself too much. Everything takes time and it will take longer, especially if you cared for that person deeply. Let me just put this out there. A lot of people when they're separated, blame themselves for everything. They keep asking themselves what they could have done differently. Or they wonder if they did something bad to end the relationship. It's not your fault. Stop blaming yourself for something you have no control over. You can't make someone want to leave your life stay. You have to accept that this person might not come back into your life. The truth is that not everybody comes into our lives to stay. It's a very bitter pill to swallow, but that's just how life is. Different kinds of people come into our lives for a specific reason. You have the leaves that are only seasonal. As soon as their season is over, they will be gone from your life. These are the people that we should learn from because they often come into our lives to teach us something very valuable. The ones who come into our lives to stay are identified as roots. So it doesn't matter what the weather condition is or what the season is, these people will be firmly rooted in our lives to encourage us and to be there for us whenever we need them. A very significant part of the healing process is acceptance. So you have to accept that the relationship that you once had with that person is over, it's gone for good, and it cannot be revived. When you start to accept this, that's when your healing process will begin. This is where music comes in, and I am not talking about just any music, but sad music. You might be wondering why am I telling you that you should listen to sad music. That's because you are more likely to find something in those songs that you can relate to and they will bring you comfort. Give social media a break. And let me tell you why I insist that you give social media a break. Because you might find something on there that is going to hurt your feelings and put you back to square one. And you don't want that. You're on the road to recovery. You're on the road to healing. And for you to heal, you have to avoid the things that are causing you to hurt. Sometimes when you're in a relationship, you get so caught up. You don't even get to do the things that you like to do. Because you want to ensure that your partner is happy. This is a good time to go to the movies with your friends and enjoy yourself. I know you're tempted to do it. I know you're tempted to do it, but put the phone down. Because you might be disappointed when you call the person they don't pick your call, 
or they're not interested to talk to you or surprisingly they might have moved on with somebody in the short space of time and when you call and you hear that person communicating with your ex it is going to cause you to hurt do this instead start focusing more on yourself go to the spa get a makeover go shopping do something fun with your friends do something that you have never done in a long time don't be afraid to still love that person you can still love them from a distance and you can still cherish the memories but don't stay down for too long because while you're there stressing yourself not eating and not enjoying your life your ex might be out there having a great time living his or her life to the fullest and you are there moping around and beating yourself down don't get me wrong i'm not saying that it's easy a heartbreak is farthest from easy i'm just asking you to live a little to love yourself a little more to take care of yourself when you start focusing more on you and more of the things that you want to do more of the things that you like to do you might discover a new hobby trust me when you start doing these things for yourself a couple years down the road you might not even remember the last name of your ex it gets better with time you can do this all you need is time and like the old saying says time heal all wounds i said this already but let me just say it again do you do whatever it is that makes you happy if you have tried everything and you still feel depressed you still feel like you can't go on then maybe it's time to see a therapist whatever it is that you need to do to recover do it don't let anybody tell you otherwise At the end of the day you are the only one who knows what you're going through that's it for today guys i hope that i was able to encourage somebody and if you've ever had to deal with a very bad breakup leave a comment down below how you got over it see you guys soon don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button thank you so much